right what is up youtube so a lot has changed since i talked to you guys last um for whatever reason last time i talked to you guys is everything has like been totally different um okay so i filmed my last video sunday i believe or saturday and then i told you guys i was going to switch for upper lower split this is the first change First change is one, I'm no longer doing upper lower, and I'm no longer doing six days a week. I'm now doing five days a week, and I'm doing Friday, Saturday is my competition days. So it's like today is Friday, I have squat and bench. Tomorrow I have deadlift and close grip bench, I believe. And then Wednesday, or sorry, and then Monday, I'll have uh, high bar squats, so SSB high bar squats and a type of bench. Tuesday, I will have pause deads and back work. And then Wednesday, I have tempo squat, tempo bench. So obviously, it's totally a different program, um, which is kind of cool, just because the reason that happened is because I now have a coach. So I officially have a coach, uh, no longer doing the shit by myself, which is going to help me a lot. Uh, he's already helped me a bunch. I've only had him for a few days, and he's already helped me a bunch. But yeah, so that's a, that's a big change. I have a coach. My days are six, five days a week, not six days a week. I'm pretty much just running accessories for the compound, whether it's full body or back or whatever. It's just the accessories are for the compounds for that day, most likely. Like today, you'll see, it's probably this is going to be one of my harder days I have not done today yet. Um, but I have competition squat, a heavy double, and then some back offs have a competition bench, a heavy double, and then some back offs. And then I have leg press and dips, I believe. Um, so obviously for squats, the leg press is an accessory and for dips, the is a bench accessory. Um, so that's been, that's been cool. I'm not gonna lie. That has been definitely cool. I also got my new phone. So hopefully the camera looks a lot better. Um, it should, it's a very good camera. So. Hopefully it looks better. What else have I changed? Um, oh, everything is almost RPE based now. So the, the main change with like for me is I used to be doing like percentage based stuff, and now it's mostly RPE based. Like I did both a mix. This is pretty much all RPE. So like today I have an RP six. So there is a chart that you could use that would estimate what your RP six should look like, like as percentages. But, you know, if I'm feeling good today, it's going to be higher. And if I'm feeling bad today, it's going to be lower. So it is cool to see that you can just, like, adjust whatever you want, pretty much, to make it fit for how you feel for the day, which is obviously very good. Um, so my squat and my bench are both at RP6 today. So you guys may be able to tell better than I can what RP it actually is. But the goal is to have it around RP6. So 6, 6.5 should be good. Um, I have a relative weight of what I want to do, but obviously nothing... Nothing down pat yet, because I don't know what my RP is going to feel like when I start. So, um, what else? Let's see. I had my signature oats before I worked out, just like always. And I'm um, going to have my, my post workout, my banana, my Rice Krispies, and love that meal. And honestly, so I was going to say, it, it, it helps a lot for me to have the exact same pre workout meal and the exact same post workout meal almost every day. Just because I like both the meals, and I know the macros in the meals, and I feel good when I eat them. So, like, I have these two meals, and I have my two meal preps that I meal prep every week. And then I only have to figure out one meal a day to make me get five meals, which is not that hard. When I already have four meals, I don't have to figure out one meal. It's usually like a yogurt bowl, or like an egg sandwich, or something. Like, you know, something basic, just extra food. Sometimes it's like rice cakes with, like, peanut butter, and just, like, an extra... Just some snack as I have protein already for the day, which I eat very easily every day. That is kind of cool. Uh, meal prepping, I definitely recommend. Even on like I'm I'm bulking right now, meal prepping is very useful because you can have meals ready. You don't have to go figure out to like star food and when you're cutting. I think it's really useful as well, just because you can get really volume heavy meals and not have to like prepare them. You just go in the fridge, microwave them, read them cold, or whatever. It's just done. So I, I definitely think meal prepping is a good idea for pretty much everybody. Um, you can take time out of your week to meal prep. You're going to save money. 
you're going to have food ready. It's going to be good, high-quality food that you cooked at home. You know exactly what's in it. It's it's probably the best way to go about it, in my opinion. I really think there is a better way to go about it. Maybe maybe people people just like buying the pre-made meals or just going out. Going out for every meal is so, so bad for you. I don't care what the macros say on an outside meal. There's so much other shit that gets added into, like, restaurant meals and stuff that, like, it's just not the same as cooking at home. And you can make stuff that you make, like, have good macros and taste good. Like, I make crazy stuff all the time. Right now, I'm having, like, Korean beef bowls with uh, my chicken meal is, uh, I made chicken nuggets with fries and broccoli. Like, you would not think that's a healthy ass meal, but the macros are really good on both of them. They taste really good. It's easy. Like, it's it's not hard to do at all. I have a bunch of recipes posted on my, like, YouTube shorts and my Instagram and stuff that you can look at. And hopefully I'll get more on there eventually. I just have enough time to edit those videos. But recipes are easy with good macros. They're really not hard at all. Just need to follow a few steps. And you have meal preps for the week with great macros that taste amazing. It's, it's easy. Like, it's, it's, you have no excuse to not do it. The only reason would be if you don't have any time. But you save a lot of money, and money is worth time to most people. So I'd say it's, it's probably worth it. Yeah. We're going to head to the gym. I'm going to do some cardio. I'm going to do some stretching. And, uh, oh, I have the injures for the first time without pants on today on my actual competition squat. First time wearing injures. So I want to see how light it feels. Um, I wore them for my tempo squats the other day. And obviously, I wore them for the pause squats the day you guys saw. But I have comp squat today. And it's a heavy comp squat. So I want to see how the injures feel. I think they're going to feel really good. See what it feels like. Uh, I got them on and off yesterday. It was a struggle, but I did do it. Yeah, we'll see how they feel. See you guys in the gym. All right, so we got the last warm up. Uh, probably the last warm up, possibly. Depends how light it feels, to be honest. But a single. And we got doubles for my working. So we'll see how this shit moves and determines what weight I'm going to do, probably. These injures on. Oh. Alright. Jesus. Oh. I'm rolling these of a job, bro. So hard to do. Alright. Look, we're good. Just a little lower than I want, but kind of wrinkled. It's all right. Good enough. Let's go. How many hit depth, yeah? How many hit depth? He's not hearing me. That's all right. Felt pretty good. I don't know how it moved. You don't watch the video. We'll see. Double, 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 double. Come on. Easy. I didn't even know that was RP6. I hit that. I want it.
Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Yes, sir. Alright, uh, just don't drop it on me. It should be easy. Two. That wasn't bad. I just... Ross will be fine, I promise. That motherfucker is getting. He'll, he'll, he'll hit that. If he does not throw 850, I'm going to be so bad. Hey. I'm going to have a chance. Four years. Four years. Oh, yeah? He's a
España, hostia, 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 tío. Three, two, one. Hostia, hostia, chaval. Me cago en la puta. I got six. Jesus. All right. So bench squats are done. Got leg press, dips, and then something else. Two sets of ten here. It's gonna be heavy. Let's get it. Not light. Quads are burning. All right. Put 15 pounds on here. Hopefully, RP6. Let's get it. My quads burning. Woo. Holy. All right, now we got some dips, some weighted dips. Uh, three by eights, hopefully. RP7. Let's see how it moves. Did do a decent amount of bench, so we'll see. Come on. RP7, probably pretty accurate there. We'll take it.
One more. Not that bad. That's it. Mm -hmm. Easy gig. Seven, I'll take it. So obviously I don't have a mirror, but let's see what this pump's looking like. Tricep <sighs> 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 is super pumped. I'm gonna do his leg. <sighs> Alright, let's get in the car. Get out of here. Alright, super, super solid workout there. An RP double, or RP6 squat double, as well as an RP6 bench double, some back offs, leg press, dips, push downs. Solid pump, not great lighting in the locker room, the other room was full, but solid pump for me. I don't usually get pumps like that. Um, good workout for sure, feeling really strong. Uh, we're going to lock in on form. Obviously, having a coach helps a lot to make sure everything is perfect. Um, I got some recommendations for my bench and my squat for that session. They were not perfect, which is makes sense, obviously. Very hard to get a perfect bench and a perfect squat, but you do your best to perfect it. Obviously, that's the goal. But yeah, move well. Um, I ended up hitting 200 for an RP6 uh, double on bench, and I hit... I don't actually know what I hit on squat. I know in kilos. Um, it might have been like... Oh, I don't want to lie here. I think it was two red, so it was 125. So I'm going to imagine it was around 280 pounds, something like that. 
Um, felt really good. The second rep moved really, really smooth. The first rep was a little slow for whatever reason. I just did not go into a good rep, but my second rep was really, really smooth. Might have honestly been able to do more, but the back offs were uh, through F5, so a little heavier. Um, good though. It's obviously week one for me because it's starting new, so everything's not heavy, but three weeks, the videos in three weeks are going to be so hyped. Everything's going to be like RP is eight, like PRs, hopefully, already. First block PRs on like doubles, on bench, and all that. It's going to be good. It's going to be fun. I'm uh, really enjoying having like a more structured plan and not just like so much what I did myself. Just like very much more powerlifting, obviously. A lot less bodybuilding, but it just makes more sense. It's just better. feels better. will definitely get me better results. And I have like, faith faith in the coach, of course. Um, yeah, I'm just going to head back to my, my place now. I'm going to make my post-workout meal like always. I'm going to watch some college football, most likely, do some homework, just just chill out a little bit, need to relax a little, maybe go in the hot tub, just chill. I also want to talk, I was talking to Bornstein for so long there, um, he's obviously, I guess, really nice from, like, my last few videos, he was there giving me advice and stuff, we were just talking for a while, so, it was, like, a long workout, it was, like, a two and a half hour workout, it really shouldn't have been, but I was just talking for a really long time, so, ended up taking a, a good little bit of time, but I don't really mind, it's Friday, and it's, like, I was off yesterday, so I don't mind spending a bunch of time there. Um, Diet-wise, nothing has changed at the moment. I'm still trying to bulk up to 181 for my meet in January. Uh, coach has said that might not be necessary, but we'll see, obviously, as it gets closer, um, how it's looking. But I shouldn't have to do a water cut or anything to weigh in at 181, which would obviously be perfect. Uh, I can weigh the most I possibly can, have good meals, I mean, everything, and not have to cut down at all, which would be optimal. So hopefully the weight gain I have right now is staying consistent with the amount of calories I have. Uh, I really would like to not have to eat more. I'm eating a lot right now. And uh, I've been eating a lot for about 15 weeks. So I get another 13 weeks of it. So um, I don't want to put on much fluff. And I want to kind of keep gaining weight at the same time. I'm still pretty lean. You guys should see from posing. If you saw my Instagram post yesterday, you saw I still look pretty lean. Because I was one, at 174 yesterday, I looked pretty freaking lean. I, got, I had straight six-pack. Which is uh, nice for me because that means I'm probably sub 12% or around 12%. And I feel amazing. I'm gaining weight really slowly, not really gaining much body fat at all. I'm bulking the right way right now. Everything's going well. Um, bulk's going well. Workout's going well. Weight's going well. Everything's feeling good. We're in a lock-in on form. Bench felt pretty good today. You guys can see how much more consistent my form is on bench already compared to what it was for the last few weeks. And it's going to get better and better with his tips. Um, he said he realized me to focus on like scapular depression, which right now I'm just kind of doing retraction and I can't really get the depression part down, like to bring my scaps down. So I just need to practice that obviously, and just try to get that to work. Um, practice makes perfect. I'm sure eventually I'll get there and yeah, yeah I mean, everything felt good. Um, uh, tell me if you guys think my, my list of RP6 today, I know it's a lot harder on, on video and stuff, but. I think my list is pretty close to RP6, honestly. I think I wasn't really overestimating or underestimating at all. The only thing I overestimated for sure was my dips. Um, my, my last set of dips, I didn't even get my 8. I got 7. I definitely could have got the 8 if I really grinded, but it was supposed to be RP7 or 8. So I did not want to do RP10. Um, it was not worth it for me. So my dips, I overestimated a little bit. But everything else, I think, was pretty good RP. My leg press maybe was a little higher than 6, but my quads are burning, and I don't usually get a quad burn at all doing anything but leg extension. So... I'll take it for sure. Um, I actually enjoy doing leg press. I used to not do it at all, and now I'm back to doing it again. I like it a lot, actually. I feel like it's a very, very good leg builder for me because you can just move like a lot of weight really easily. Um, I wasn't moving that much today. I was doing. I did 270, and then it was still a little bit too light, so I added uh, five to each side of my thing, so it made it 285 for me, which is still pretty light in like in general for a leg press. But I actually get like a good stretch. Like you see how far I go down. I don't really cut depth in like press at all um i feel like it's really important and my quads are burning like crazy which is obviously really good for uh for muscle growth and that means i'm doing something right so yeah i hope you guys enjoyed um this one might be a little bit of a sh longer i actually don't know i don't really know how long these videos are usually but hopefully the quality is better with the new phone i'm gonna try to edit and get this posted today and yeah hopefully get at least two videos up this week like normal see you guys in the next one